The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his law. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master, and the servant as his law. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how, how much more shall they call them of his house? 26. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and he that shall not be made manifest. What I tell you in darkness, that speak you in the light, and what you hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both the soul and the body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever will deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus. Please go to First Peter. First Peter chapter 1. I'll just read three or four verses there. And that will be all for the night. First Peter chapter 1 from verse 1. Apostle Peter had to write to encourage the church at the time they were burning Christians or throwing them into the lion for lion to consume them. Yeah, they, there was a lot of discouragement in town. He needed to write this letter to them. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers set, so the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God, the Father, through sanctifications of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Verse 3. Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us again unto lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. Amen. Amen. Are you here and you are discouraged? Have you gotten to the wall? Pushed to your wit's end? And you don't know what to do? Confused? Disappointed? Flabbergasted? Embarrassed? Whatever is your situation tonight, I want to assure you that God has you in his mind. Hallelujah. God has you in his mind. Before we dig deeper into God's word, just know, number one, that discouragement is common. Discouragement is common. In fact, there is no man in this world that has not been discouraged before. Everyone has been discouraged at one time or the other. So it's not so strange that you are discouraged at this time. Hallelujah. 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 Sir? No, number two, that it is contagious. If I carry my discouragement and I enter into the company of my friends and I pick out my heart of my frustration, my depression, and all the misfortunes I have had, they are also likely to become discouraged. Discouragement is contagious. They are also likely to become discouraged. 
in sympathy with my capacity to, to tell them the challenges I'm facing. They will just realize that some of them are also facing this kind of challenges. Discouragement is contagious. Number three, discouragement is curable. Hallelujah. Somebody that was discouraged yesterday can be encouraged today. Somebody that has been discouraged for this can be encouraged today. Today is the day of encouragement. Hallelujah. 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 There is no need to keep on being discouraged and feel that frustration that things are not working. There is no need to cry. Hey, the Bible says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. It doesn't matter for how long you have wept and cried. Today is the day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Do you agree God made this day? Psalm 118 verse 23. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. 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 Now, Apostle Peter took his Bible and started writing. The church was in very deep discouragement. The Roman soldiers abused Christians to feed the lions. They feed them to lions and lions were eating them. And Christians were just dying and there seemed to be no hope for them. So Peter needed to remind them of their inheritances which they have in heaven. Hallelujah. James also wrote, count it all joy when you fall in five kinds of temptation. James chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. For the, the trial of your faith worketh patience. And when patience is fulfilled, it will bring you to another level. So they started to find different ways of encouraging the church. Apostle Peter said, you have inheritances in Christ, which nothing on earth can compare to. He said, do not lose hope, do not fail, do not allow your desire to fail, because Jesus has paid the ultimate price. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, hope is lost. Jesus is in town. God is in town. There's no situation he can't turn around. God is in town. There's no frustration. It doesn't matter how heavy the tears have been. He's ready to wipe your tears away. He will wipe those tears away. He said, and I will wipe the tears from your faces. And the pain of yesterday shall no longer be with you. Hallelujah. God is ready to move forward. So we've searched through the Bible and we've come at least seven good points we want to share tonight. The promise of God to the discouraged. The plan of God. If I am discouraged now, what should I do? If I sit down and cry and cry and cry and cry and cry till next year, nothing will be added to me. Medical doctors all in the, all over the world they agree that when you cry because of a certain shortfall or misfortune, you feel some sense of joy, but it doesn't solve your problem. Sometimes you cry until you sleep and wake up and realize the problem that made you to cry is waiting for you. That time it has actually stood up from the floor and sat on the chair, and you cry, cry, cry. By next to you don't do anything about it. The trouble would now die rapper. You cry, cry, cry. You didn't do anything about the problem itself. The problem will put on my dad a up and carry walking stick. <laughs> you cry, 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 cry. After three months, no less have walking stick and wrapper. You now had a footstool and cross the leg and put on the footstool, sitting in your house. So crying does not solve your problem. It's not enough to take the problem away. It's enough to make you sleep and let one year pass as if no time has passed. But it will not take away the problem. 
So what do you do? From the scripture, God has told us exactly how we need to handle the issue of discouragement should it come our way. God is able to remove the problem. God can remove the problem. He can terminate the problem. He can terminate the problem forever and nobody will ever know that you had this problem before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to agree with Apostle Peter that God chose you for this time. You didn't write any report. You did not apply, say, God, I want to be among the people in the end time. No, God chose you. Just feel a little happy tonight. Touch your head and say, I am God's elect. God chose you for this time, knowing that you have what it takes to survive the hard times, the frustration, the depression that is coming upon the world, that you have what it takes to survive it. Hallelujah. You have what it takes. Tell yourself, I have what it takes to succeed. You are a success. I call you a success. God calleth those things that be not as though they were. I call you a success right now. You are a success. And there's nobody that can tamper with that success because God has made you a success already. Hallelujah. You are a success from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. You are a success. Hallelujah. 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 Is working out something mm. right now as I'm talking to you brother sister God is working out success out of your life God right now right now right now God is working it out 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 right now is working it out is working it out right now when you lie down to sleep and wake up you will see some measure of success you'll be going from glory to glory to glory to glory to glory to glory from one level to another level oh darkness may cover the world and cross darkness may cover the people but the lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be risen upon you in the name of jesus you will arise and shine you will arise and shine the darkness that cover the world will not cover you the darkness that cover the people will not cover you you are the light of the world a city set upon a hill that cannot be hidden you are the light of the world god put his light upon you and the bible says that light appears John chapter 1 verse 5 and darkness disappears and the King James Bible says and the darkness could not comprehend the light oh your glory will be too big for your disappointment to be able to stand the God of heaven is walking out walking out walking out something 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 beautiful something presentable something worthy of exaltation something worthy of glorification something that deserves to be announced something Something that men will know that God is working. The glory, the power, the might, the majesty of a God manifested in your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ. God is not asleep. Oh, the Bible says he neither slumber nor sleeps. God is not asleep. For your sake, God has refused to sleep. He's walking your glory day and night. He's walking you. You are a walking process. The Bible calls you God's workmanship. God is walking you until you become a glory to behold. Until you become the light of the world. God will not rest. Somebody shout hallelujah. Our God will not rest. Our God does not need rest because of you. God does not need rest because of you. God, He won't rest until you become a glory to behold. This your Father will not rest. So, but the scripture is clear. God has told us in His Word what we need to do when we are discouraged. So we we pick a script from the scripture. So let's begin to run. What to do? Number one, seek God in prayer. Prayer. Somebody say prayer. Psalm thirty-four, seventeen. 
the, the righteous cry. I've told you before in this church, and that is the scripture. Anywhere you see cry, it only represents only today. Either you shout with a loud voice that people at my too can hear your voice. That's a cry. Or cry bitterness of heart that tears are flowing through your eyes. He said, let tears run down you, your eyelid like the river. Lamentation chapter 2 verse 18. You are bent to your bone and you begin to open your mouth in prayer, but you just realize tears are flowing like a river. Oh, he said, cry, let tears flow down your eyes like a river. Cry for your children who are hungry on the street corner. He said, cry, you daughter of Zion, give me no rest. Let your tears drop upon my altar. Give me no rest. Cry. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. The Bible says, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. It didn't say call your auntie. No, your auntie may be a principal in Ibadan. It does not matter. Your auntie has no role to play in your crisis. Your brother has no role to play. They are also having their own crisis of life. Forget that thing. That's why you are still where you have been. God created you and relates with you as his own son, as his own daughter. Forget about what of those that don't have any senior brother? What of those that don't have any auntie in Abuja? What of those that don't have anybody in house of bread? Uh, even they don't even have they don't even know any counselor, doctors of local government chairman. God created you in your personal capacity. Let's forget about this thing. I call my brother. Forget about your brother. God created you irrespective of your brother. Everything you need to live a successful life in this world has been put inside you. Your brother is a different entity. You are a different entity. Hallelujah. The righteous cry and God help them and answer their prayer. Psalm 34, 17. So when you have a problem, rather than cry to men, cry to God. Amen? Cry to God! Cry to God! If you need your tears to, to, to fill up a bucket, cry! Psalm 56, verse 9. When they cry! Crying is not a sin. The Bible says, God said, when you cry, He will hear you and He will come down and turn your captivity around. He said, when I cry, my enemies are turned back. He said, this I know, for God is for me. Psalm 56 verse 9. God is for me. That's why when anytime I cry, my enemies are turned back. They cannot pursue me. Because I cry to God. Don't forget the same God that created you created the devil. Hallelujah. The same God is the author of everything in the world. The same God has capacity over every spirit. Whether the spirit of light or the spirit of darkness. You cry to God. You cry to God. You cry to God. You cry to God. David entered into covenant with God in Psalm 5. He said, Lord, hear my cry. He said, my voice shall you hear in the morning. Every morning you hear my cry. Every morning you hear my cry, you see my tears. He said, hear my cry, O God. Attend unto my words. Psalm 61 verse 1. Now, when things are not working, brother, cry to God, cry to God, cry to God, cry to God, cry, cry, cry. There's no dignity when you stand before God. Yeah, I want to keep my dignity. Okay, you want to make God for God? You have not started. You are not yet born again. But David said, I would rather roll on the floor in your presence, in your habitation. I would rather be a gatekeeper than pre pretend to be a king because there's no dignity in the kingship that does not have Jesus. <sighs> cry! Are you ready to cry tonight? 
Number two, remember God's promises. <laughs> remember God's promises. Ah, I read this Matthew 10 to somebody this afternoon. He said, This parable, four of them are sold for a fatting. A fatting is a quarter of one penny. If you like a quarter of one cover, they are so cheap. These beds are so small. Some of them are smaller than ordinary butterfly. God said, if you know the fat, they 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 the sparrow. He said, four of them are sold for a fatting. Now, he said, God is watching over them. If God to watch over the sparrow, he said, for you, every strand of your hair has been counted and recorded in heaven. And not a strand can be removed without God's authorization, God's approval. He says, So why are you worried? I've counted your hair, and none has been removed, and none will be removed except by my approval. Why are you afraid of death? Why are you afraid of hunger? I allow you to go through this trial so that you can be tough enough to prepare to meet with me, enough to be able to face the challenges of life. Enough to be able to know that I have a plan for your life. Remember the promises of God. <laughs> oh, I love David. David will look at himself and say, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? He's not talking to God, he's not praying, he's talking to himself. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Amen. David encouraged himself in the Lord. When he saw that his, his, his spirit was weak, he could not do anything. He needed to talk to himself. He needed to motivate himself. He needed to pop himself up. I said, why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you dispirited in me? David needed to encourage himself. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. He was not praying to God. He was to himself bless the lord of my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name whether you like it or you don't like it bless the name of the lord you pop yourself and prop yourself to the point where you can be able to communicate with god what did the promise of god say sir jeremiah 29 verse 11 because i know the thoughts i think towards your thoughts of good are not available to bring you a future full of hope that's the promise of God. What does the Bible say? Isaiah 43, from verse 1 to 3. The Bible says, when you pass through the water, the water will not overflow upon you. When you fall into the fire, the fire will not be kindled upon you. Hallelujah. He said, I call you Jacob. He said, you are mine. I will give Egypt for you. I will give Ethiopia and Seba for you. Because I have loved you. God is ready to destroy four countries because of just you. This is your head that's looking like square. God said, I will destroy four countries for your sake because I love you. What does the Bible say? It says, I am with you always. The promise of God. Check your scripture. What does the Bible say about me? Because if you know what the Bible says about you, a lot of all this crying and weeping and mourning and regretting life will not come. It's an ignorance that makes us look as if God has left us. God has not left you. Touch your heart and say, God has not left me. Say in the next say, God is with me. Hallelujah. Remind yourself of the promise of God. God is here. Hebrews 13 verse 5. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Woo! God said never. Say, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will never. The promise of God. Touch your chest and say, God is with me. Hey, talk with confidence. God is with me. God said, I will never leave you. Even if you go inside the bottomless pit, God said, I will be there with you. You know, the guy that wrote Psalm 139, he said, God, where will I go? 
from your presence. If I enter into the pit, you are there. I climb on top of the tree, you are there. Anywhere I go, you are there. God is everywhere. So, why do you feel discouraged? A sparrow, God say, is the one protecting that sparrow. Yeah, the sparrow has no wife. The sparrow has no house. The sparrow has no child. God say, I'm protecting that sparrow. If God can be so great, gracious to the sparrow, what of you? What of you made in his image and after his likeness? Tell your neighbor, don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged in the name of Jesus. Amen. Number three, lean on God's strength. Lean on God's strength. Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. When we are weak, he is strong. Amen. So let's lean on his strength. Joel chapter 3, verse 10. The Bible says, Let the weak say, I am strong. Hallelujah. Isaiah 33, verse 24. The Bible says, Nobody should say, I am sick inside. It doesn't matter, even if you are left, it's, it's very rotten and they need to cut it. You tell them, I am strong, I am well, I am healed. In fact, I am the healed one that the enemy is trying to make sick. Hallelujah. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are the healed one the devil is trying to make sick. You are the one motivated and encouraged the devil is trying to discourage. Somebody say, I'm strong. Shout it, let your voice be the loudest. I am strong. Say, let the weak, you are weak. Your head is banging. You have migraine headache. Your leg is about to be amputated. You don't have appetite to eat food. He said, let the weak say, I am strong. That's scripture for you. The Bible says in the book of Luke 21, 50, it says, I will give you a mouth and the wisdom that all your adversaries can neither can say nor resist. And you know what? The Holy Ghost has come. Jesus has come to heaven. So God has already given us a mouth. It's not I will give you again. He has given us a mouth and a wisdom that if you bring all our enemies together, they cannot say more than us. That neither can say no, stop what we have said. Somebody say, I'm strong. Say it loud, I'm strong. I'm healed. I'm on top. I'm in charge. I'm not hearing your voice. I'm in charge. I'm on top. I am rich. I am well. It's working. God is working for me. Hallelujah. Number four. Practice gratitude. Practice gratitude. Habakkuk chapter 3, 17 to 19. The Bible says, Though the fig tree did not blossom, you have a farm and nothing seemed to be forthcoming. He said, Yet will I glory in the Lord God, my maker. I didn't see fruit in my farm. Yet will I glory. We just say, God, you are wonderful. God, you are beautiful. God, you have done all things well. Oh, God, you are the one that picked me up from the Mary clay. You set my feet on the rock to stay. You are my glory and the lifter of my head. Hallelujah. You practice gratitude. When you begin to say good things about God, God begins to do good things for you. Ah, the food don't finish. Gary, no day. In our world for this country, you kill yourself. You commit suicide. Look at the empty board it was made in China. Tell him, this board you are going to carry good soup. Hallelujah. Look at your empty bag of rice. Oh, this bag is finished. I know another bag is on its way. The replacement is coming in the name of Jesus. You practice gratitude. Practice gratitude. God, you are so wonderful. Thank you for waking me up this morning. You know, we forget the most important thing that you are alive. The Bible says he that is just to the living. For everyone just to the living, there is hope. There is hope for you, sir. Hello? There is hope for you. A living dog is better than a dead lion. 
a little dog better than a dead lion for everyone just to the living there is hope hallelujah you learn to speak the word of god answer your condition and frustration with a face of scripture they will pack their lord and run away hallelujah <laughs> there is hope there is hope for you ecclesiastes chapter 9 verses 4 and 5 there is hope for you hallelujah answer them with the scripture tell them yes i am of the living i was born of god i am successful god is on my side things are working the glory of the lord is risen upon me i arise and shine Woo! i'm tired of being a local champion i've got to go international hallelujah what about you i'm going international i hope you are going international as well glory be to god Remind yourself of what God said. Let the say, you know the Bible says in everything, give thanks. There's no food at all today. Turn it into fasting, my brother. Mm. I'm going to fast. I'm going to pray to my God. I'm going to seek his face. God has something to do. God is cooking up something for my blessing. We must have a positive disposition. Oh God, we need to pray. We need to have some time to pray. Okay. Number five surround yourself with a community of people that believe in what you believe don't be as a go see no go say go go so go, go so this run away from such people those people are going straight to poverty and hell things are not working eh? everything is so hard life is so tough no petrol no kerosene no water no soap no neighbor no life run away run for your life you don't want to commit suicide run away from such people the bible says the companion of fools shall be destroyed god hates murmuring god hates complainers god hates people that are talking against his works run away from them Numbers chapter 11, God sent fire to the camp to destroy people who were murmuring because they were eating manna. Manna, 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 manna. God said, okay, I will give you fried chicken, but you eat it and die. Run away. He that walketh with the wise shall be wise. A companion of fools shall be destroyed. Proverbs 13 verse 20. Run away from people who are talking against what you are talking who believe in what you don't believe run away from them because they are called, no 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 evil communication corrupt good manners first corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 the things you hear affect your disposition the things people are not telling you affect your disposition that this country is so hard it's like fire will be burning everywhere it's like people will be dying on the street the hunger is so strong the things you hear you wake up tomorrow and find out that your life becomes more tighter tougher and rougher because of the discussion that you joined with yesterday run away evil communication corrupt good disposition hallelujah look for people that say what you are saying Proverbs 27 verse 17 <laughs> man sharpened the countenance of his friends look for people that will sharpen your countenance and not do that will destroy you it's better you don't have any friend than to have friends that keep telling that things will get worse that life will get tougher that money will get scarcer run away hallelujah praise 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 somebody praise the lord so that discouragement must go tonight if it doesn't go, we will not leave this place. It must go. That discouragement must go in Jesus' name. Number six, meditate on God's word. And 119 verse 105, the Bible says that word is a light, a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. God's word is able to show direction. Amen. Psalm 1 verse 1, blessed is a man. You want to be a blessed man? Just read what the blessed man did. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, 
nor seated in the seat of the scornful, nor standed in the way of the sinners, but his delight is in the law of the law. In his law does he meditate day and night. Hallelujah. The result shows in verse 3. Because he meditates on God's word day and night. See what happened in verse 3. He shall be like the tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his food in his season. His sleep also does not wither. And whatsoever I do, I prosper. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Whatsoever he do, I prosper. He says, Gary, Gary prospers. He says, Fufu, Fufu prospers. He opens a shop. Everybody knows his shop is the best. Whatsoever he do, I prosper. The Bible warns. The wicked are not so. Who are the wicked? Those that refuse to meditate on God's word. Because for you to meditate on God's word, you must have read that passage of scripture hundreds of times to take it into your memory and to bring it out when you are under oppression. The wicked are not so. They are like a shaft which the weak drive it away. And the wicked shall not stand in the place of judgment. No, they are the ungodly in the seat of the righteous. But the Lord knows the way of the righteous and the way of the sinner shall perish. Are you still in church? Meditate on God's word. Sir, the only one man in scripture that was called the blessed man was the man that meditated on God's word. God talks about Joshua. In Joshua chapter 1, God gave him instructions. He said, Joshua, hey, this book of the law shall not be part out of your mouth. You will meditate on it there and night and observe to do as it is written there. Then you will make your way prosperous. Then you will have good success. Sir, the greatest conqueror in history, in biblical history, was Joshua. A secret meditation. Begin to look for scriptures that counter the situation of your discouragement. Meditate on it, take it into a memory, speak them to yourself. I mean, self-talk. Look at yourself in the mirror and talk to your image. Talk to your image. You this man, you are the richest man in Africa. You this man, you are a great man. The glory of God is residing in your blood. You walk by faith, not by sight. And men hear your name and they collapse and fall and die because of the power you are carrying. You are the image of the Godhead. Talk to yourself. Positive self talk. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. You will see the way you are going to control the universe in a very short period of time. Meditation works. It has worked for everybody. I don't know anybody that ever meditated on God's word that did not have a testimony. You won't be the first person that meditation will not work for you. I see meditation working for you in the name of Jesus. I see meditation working for you in the name of Jesus. I see meditation working for you in the name of Jesus. Lastly, build up your confidence. Number seven, and we are going to pray from here. How do I build up my confidence? Isaiah 41 verse 10. The Bible says, fear not. Fear not. Fear not. You don't need to fear. Don't be moved by what you see. Don't be moved by what you hear. Am I talking to somebody here? Be moved by the word of God. You see, fear not. A thousand will fall by your side. And ten thousand by your right side. But it shall not come near you. That's the promise of God. Hallelujah. That's the promise of God. Psalm 91. God is telling you, people will die you. But you are not the one that will die. Hunger will keep you. It is true. Hunger will kill people. But hunger will not even come to your house. Talk less of to kill you. Amen. It is true. Many people will lose their job. But not you. Amen. Sir, those things people are murmuring is not because they are not true. But God doesn't like anybody that murmur. You are trying to challenge God's sovereignty. You are trying to challenge God's capacity to work. You are trying to reduce and nullify the effective power of God's word. So God hates such people. It's not because what they are saying. It's not because their fear is not genuine. But God says whether fear is genuine or not. Fear not! Hallelujah! The people in the lion den and lion eat them. If they should put you, lion will, will turn to your slave. Amen. Children, mission and I'm going to testify. The lion didn't hurt us. The fire turned to the fire turned into a missionary. In Daniel chapter 6, verse 22, it was the, the turn of uh, that, uh, Daniel to testify. 
They say, the angel of God came and parlocked the mouth of the lion. And they couldn't harm us. What is killing other people never kill you. I say, what is killing majority of Nigerians can never kill you. Because we are a member of the Touch Not family of God. Are you ready for this? Psalm 105 verse 15. The Bible commands the wicked power. Say, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. The powers are killing people, but not God's anointed servants. Let's stand up on our feet. Stand up on our feet. We are going to we are going to just speak in tongues for like 30 minutes. Let us let's charge up this place. Let the fire of the Lord fall here. Yeah. Let the glory of the Lord fall here. Yeah. God is about to do something new. God is about to change somebody's story. God is about to take you to higher places. God is about to rewrite the history of your family. My God, my God, Somebody pray, somebody pray. I cannot be defeated. I cannot be defeated. I cannot bow to Satan. I cannot bow to the walls of the I cannot bow to manipulations and skills of unrighteousness. I walk by faith and not by sight. Pray with all of your might. Release yourself. Pray out loud. Charge the atmosphere. Sula Maleka Pusha. 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 Sula Maleka Lanzata le kata, brana kabrana 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 kabrana, ashirira, lanzata talo zata la vazerera, ashata la grena le 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 kala la la, brana kabrana kata ni kata la, ashata le 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 kata ta la zada, ashata le 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 kata ta ta le 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 kata, ashata, only God's fire for, for da 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 da, da le da da, ashata. A lion cannot train you and then you come to a goat. It's not possible. Pray out loud. Charge this atmosphere. Pray out loud. Pray out loud. Pray out loud. Pray out loud. Da ba da ka. De ka to ba de ka. Yang shanta la do ka. Ata ke da ki da ki da ala ko ta. La shanta de 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 da da da. La zate la shanta la shela. Ata ki ta ata ki ta abadi ka ashala brada. Walking it out, walking it out right now. God is walking it out, walking it out. My God is walking it out right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. God is walking it out, walking it out right now. God is walking it out, walking it out. My God is walking it out right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. God is walking it out, walking it out right now. God is walking it out, walking it out. Our God is walking it out right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. God is walking it out, walking it out right now. God is walking it out, walking it out. My God is walking it out right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. God is walking it out, walking it out right now. God is walking it out, walking it out. Our God is walking it out right now, right now, right now, right now. Muriata la bra, kata la bra. Oshata la bra, kata la. Oshati tiki tiki kala da. 
This mountain must be moved. This mountain of disappointment must be moved. This mountain of depression must be removed. This mountain of hardship must be taken away. This mountain must go. This mountain must go. Hey, the glory of the Lord must be risen upon me. Yes, I came from above, I'm above all. I came from above, I'm above all. Yes, yes, I'm above disappointment, I'm above pain, I'm above challenges of life, I'm above sicknesses and diseases. I came from above, I'm above hunger, I came from above, I'm above pain, I came from above, I'm above frustration and depression. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I came from above, I'm above all. I came from above, I'm above all. I came from above, I'm above all. Tayaba, Dayita, Luka, Tuta, Langzita, Laka, Bandala, Yekirikis, Girgina, Dinara, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Everything I need, money, shoe, home, God shall supply. Yes, my, my partner, my marital partner shall be made available by the hand of God. My God, my God, my God is able to do all things. Yes, my God is able. My God is able to do all things that he has promised to do. Yes, yes, he will supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. I shall not cast down. I am not ashamed. I am not afraid of what the enemy will do. All I know is that my God will complete the work he has started in my life. I am the light of the world. Yes, a city set upon a hill cannot be hidden. Yes, I came from above, above all. As long as I am in this world, I am the light of the world. I arrive and shine. I shine. I shine. I shine. I shine. Nothing can reduce me. No power can bring me down. Yes, I came from above. above all. <laughs> be flattered. I walk by faith and not by sight. Talaba kata kalokura kashradana. Are you weary? Are you heavy hearted? Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. Are you grieving over joy's departed? Tell it to Jesus alone. Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. He is a friend so well known. You know all the such a friend of brother. Tell it to Jesus alone. Do the tears flow down your cheeks unbidden? Tell it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. Have you seen that to men's eyes are hidden? Tell it to Jesus alone. 
you have three minutes now to tell it to Jesus. Tell him your pains. Tell him your trials. Tell him the things pursuing you. Tell him the frustration you are facing. Tell him now he's willing to listen. Yes, tell it to Jesus. Lord, show up. Show up for New Land coming and church on behalf of the church. Father, Lord, I bring the pains of the church to you. Lord, raise up men in this house. Raise up millionaires, money movers. Oh, God, business men. Lord, raise them by fire. Lord, raise them by the anointing. Lord, raise them now. Men and women, we give them opportunities. Doing the will of God. Walking the walk of the Almighty. Being in the right place at the right time. Opening new doors for them. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lashala, Ataka, Ataya, Adoya, Padeya, Apato, Papata, Ashala, Yakaletala, Zola, Bella Paketaka, Ushadete, Latete, Datete. Lord, wipe the tears from the eyes of your children. Lord, wipe the tears from the eyes of your children. Lord, wipe the tears from the eyes of your children. Only you can do this thing, Lord. Only you can do this thing. Oh, let school fees be available. Let housework be available. Let there be joy in the homes. Let there be joy unspeakable. Oh, God, speak peace to the troubled water. You said peace be still. And the Bible says there was a great calm. Tonight, oh God, on behalf of my brothers and sisters, I say peace be still. I say peace be still. I say peace be still now. I say peace be still. But they are not by the power of God in the name of Jesus. I come against manipulations and schemes of the unrighteousness. I come against the works of wickedness. I come against the frustrations that the enemy has brought our way. In the name of Jesus. Shall I Lord bless the works of our hand. Lord bless the works of our hand. Those things we lay our hand upon to do. Oh God, the Bible says, shall be well with you. Yes, uh, in the works of your hand. Father, uh, bless the works of our hand. Lord bless the works of our hand. The places where we walk, let your blessing fall. Ashala kakushita. Ashala kalak kalakala. Ataita lakate kalakaya. Ataita tabete talete talete ta. Pratete pratete prataya. Ashate kalika kapinda lakakata. Oh God. Take away this mumu brain, Lord Jesus. Wash it by fire. Revive the brain of your children, oh God. As many that are students, revive their mind. Take away this foolishness. This foolishness that we inherited from our Adamic nature. Destroy it by fire tonight. Lubane la braneta la keta la fra. Ushata leka 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 na nida na 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 Weeping may endure through the night. Joy comes in the morning. The morning has come. Joy comes in the morning. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. If you are here, you are sick in your body, just check it to confirm because we have prayed much prayers already. You're supposed to have received your healing. But if you have not received your healing and you are still feeling that headache, that pain, that frustration, that tumor, that cancer, whatever it is, step forward. God is willing to heal and to deliver. Hallelujah. He's able to save to the uttermost. That's the God we are serving. He's able. Abundantly able to deliver and to save. My God is able. Abundantly able to deliver those who trust in He is able.
Jesus. The Bible says in Psalm 107 verse 20, He sent forth His word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Father Lord tonight, the sent word of God be deposited in the bodies of these ones. Heal them and deliver. Now, in the name of Jesus. Heal and deliver from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. Now, in the name of Jesus. Whatever discomfort, whatever pain, whatever was not of God in this body, receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is done. In Jesus name. We need to pray for the church. One minute. Turn around. Hold somebody's hand. Anything you want to see in church. Just pray it now. Anything you want God to do in this church. Pray it. Pray it right now. Pray it right now. We have two minutes to pray this prayer. Anything you want to see in church. You want to see members. You want to see pastors. You want to see people walking. You want to see God's blessing upon people. You want to see glory. You want to see liftings. You want to see production. You want to see manifestation. You want to have marriages. You want to have weddings. You want to have successes. You want to get to children. You want to see progress. You want to see increases. You want to see the hand of God. Lifting men higher. Higher, 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 higher. Now, Papa, Russia, Talabra, Talabra, Talakata, Rate, Rikita, Vadete, Vadeka, Takata, Rakona, Ranikata, Ranakaya, Atalabra, Takata, Natata, Ranaka, Chatakara, Chatakabra, Ratata, Ratata. We stop the manifestation of satanic oppression. The Bible says, They shall surely gather, but not by you. As many that gather together against your church, let them. Fall for your sake. The Bible says in Numbers 23 and verse 19. Therefore, no enchant against Jacob and no divination against Israel. For this is what the Lord has wrought. No weapon from the gates of the church shall prosper. And every tongue that rises in judgment, I condemn them now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for Sunday service. We lose our brothers and our sisters. We want the church to be full of men and women, boys and girls. Wherever they have been, some of them are new in this environment. We invite them to church in the realm of the spirit. We arrest them and bring them here for manifestation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answering this prayer. In Jesus' name. Put those hands together for Jesus, hallelujah.